Demogorgons are predatory creatures originating from the Upside Down, an alternate dimension existing in parallel to the human world. Most, if not all, flora and fauna present in the dimension are linked together in a hive mind controlled by the Mind Flayer, essentially forming an enormous superorganism. All Demogorgons encountered thus far are assumed to obey the Mind Flayer and make up part of his hive mind. Under his influence, Demogorgons are murderous, violent, and have an animalistic level of intelligence. Demogorgons have not been given an official species name or scientific title, rather Eleven and her friends used the nickname Demogorgon in reference to the original monster from 1983 after a monster featured in Dungeons and Dragons. In appearance, the Demogorgon has a pale white skin colour and stands around 6 to 7 feet in height and is bipedal with digitigrade legs, meaning they stand on the toes instead of the soles of the foot like humans. They also have long arms with sharp claws on the fingertips. Their most iconic feature is their mouth, which consists of five flaps which can close entirely, giving the Demogorgon a human-like silhouette. When open, each flap is lined with dozens of razor-sharp teeth, and the lining of the mouth is a bright red. The Demogorgon is immensely strong, more so than any human, and their sense of smell is exceptionally potent. They can detect a small amount of blood from far away, and they have a carnivorous diet. Their skin is durable enough to withstand gunfire and attacks from melee weapons. One of the only things that can harm them, or at least stave them off temporarily, is fire. The Demogorgon that plagued the town of Hawkins could open interdimensional portals and possessed some sort of telekinetic ability. It is unknown if they all possessed these abilities, or if they were somehow exclusive to that individual as it was possibly under the control of the Mind Flayer. In 1983, a fully grown Demogorgon set foot in Hawkins, Indiana, after a gateway to the Upside Down was accidentally opened. This Demogorgon was eventually defeated and destroyed, but not before it could inflict damage on the human world. Will Byers, a rescued victim of the Demogorgon, became a vessel for the Mind Flayer. Somehow, Will's possession allowed the Mind Flayer to unleash a swarm of adolescent Demogorgons upon Hawkins. The life cycle of the Demogorgon seems to have six distinct stages and is similar in some ways to that of several Earth amphibian species. In the only cases of Demogorgon reproduction observed, the cycle began with the deposition of eggs or larvae within a host by a tentacle within the Upside Down. The slug-like larvae later were vomited up by the host and subsequently escaped into the wild. After this, the larvae underwent a period of rapid metamorphosis, molting through each stage of their development until emerging as an adult. The process takes place over the span of a week. The Demogorgon's life cycle was best illustrated by an individual which Dustin temporarily kept as a pet. The growth of a Demogorgon highly depends on the amount of both food and nutrition it consumes. It took one individual more than nine months to grow and transform from slug form to polywog in the wild. However, after being kept and fed by Dustin, it could achieve the demo dog phase in only two to three days. Larval Demogorgons are roughly the same size and shape as the standard garden slug, but they differ in terms of colouring. Larval Demogorgons are generally dark green with bright yellow spots. The larvae inhabited the bodies of the original Demogorgon's victims. Will Byers, who is found in the Upside Down with a tendril extending down his throat following his capture by the original Demogorgon. A month after returning home, Will coughed up a larva and washed it down his bathroom sink drain. It is probable that the tendril impregnated Will, so to speak, similar to a xenomorph from Alien. And Barbara Holland, who, while immersed in the void, Eleven scoured the Upside Down to find Will and Barbara. She discovered Barbara's corpse and saw a larva slither out of her mouth and across her face. After an unknown amount of time, a larval Demogorgon would molt to the next stage of its life cycle, sometimes referred to as a polywog, due to the resemblance to the larval stage of amphibians. 
The polywogs are small enough to fit in the palm of a hand, and their translucent skin is coloured yellow-green. They possess a pair of forelimbs with small claw-like hands, a mouth, and a lizard-like tail. They are incredibly sensitive to heat, even direct exposure to the light of a table lamp is enough to cause a polywog extreme discomfort. During this stage, they appear to be opportunistic feeders, as Dart was found foraging for food in a trash can and ate a candy bar it received from Dustin. Unlike other stages, the third stage of the cycle is not entered by the creature molting. Instead, this stage is signalled by the polywog's skin taking on a dark green colour, as well as an increase in body mass. The polywog will then spout a pair of hind legs, becoming quadrupedal. Small, sharp teeth begin growing in the creature's mouth. Once the polywog has eaten a sufficient amount of food, it molts, growing a little larger than a standard house cat. It is at this stage that the juvenile demogorgon develops the signature petal mouth that the species is best known for. In addition, the juvenile becomes carnivorous. Its skin takes on a darker colour and is resistant enough to heat that it is able to walk in direct sunlight with no injury. Upon molting to the penultimate stage of their life cycle, the adolescent demogorgon develops to a much larger version of their previous form, referred to as a demo dog. Now roughly the size of a large dog, the demo dog is strong enough to tackle a grown human. They are proficient in digging tunnels and are able to climb. While a demo dog is not invulnerable to gunfire, its skin is thick enough to resist it. After molting a final time, the Demogorgon emerges as an adult. Adult Demogorgons are bipedal and reach a height of approximately 6 to 7 feet. They possess immense strength, being able to knock a door off its hinges and pin down an adult human with ease. Their sense of smell is exceptionally potent, being able to detect a small amount of blood from the upside down. Their skin has grown durable enough to withstand gunfire and numerous attacks dealt with a spiked object. One of the few things shown to cause a Demogorgon any type of significant harm was being burned, but even then the creature was able to escape fairly easily and did not seem to be hindered by its injuries. Another Demogorgon was kept in a Soviet gulag in 1985 in order to devour political prisoners. I think the Demogorgon was one of my favourite parts of Stranger Things. I really liked the design of the creature and thought it was really interesting in appearance, as well as how it could open portals so it could literally appear in any place at any time, which made it even scarier as there's no hiding from it. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then I would really appreciate it if you would leave a like on it as that helps me out a lot, and once you've done that, if you want to see more, then why not subscribe and check out another one of my videos as I cover a lot of different franchises in the kinda sci-fi horror thriller genre. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.